everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Franz and on this video we are going to revisit or review four major parts of a research paper and those are chapter 1, the problems and its background, chapter 2, review of related literature, chapter 3, methods and procedures, and lastly chapter 4, presentation, analysis, and interpretation of data. If this is your first time to visit my channel, please don't forget to click subscribe below and click the bell button for you to be notified for future videos that I'll be uploading. And if you have been with me already, thank you so much for subscribing and being posted with my new videos. And don't forget to click like and comment if you have some suggested videos for me to create. Let's start with chapter 1 and that's the problem and its background. Background of the study includes purpose and reason behind why have you conducted that study? Or the question, what made you conduct the study? Also, this serves as the introduction. Statement of the problem is the main problem that the research is trying to solve. It follows the formulation of the title and the important question that the study needs to answer. It also serves as the basis of the questioner. Still part of the chapter 1 is the significance of the study. Why conduct the study? You have to identify who will benefit from the research and how they will be benefited. This should match with the recommendations. Another is the assumption of the study. The expected outcome of the research is what we call the assumption of the study. Still part of the chapter 1 is the scope and limitation of the study. This determines the coverage of the study and all the things that will cover in order to be specific. Another still part of chapter 1 is the definition of terms. On this part of this chapter, you define technical terms based on how they are used in the study, specifically in the title. This aims to provide the readers or future researchers with the basic terminologies that are important to understand on your paper. Now we're down to chapter 2, Review of Related Literature. This is where you will use your note cards and will serve as the foundation of your research. Remember, this is your own work and therefore should not directly lift words from other sources. This will require your command of language and writing skills such as summarizing, paraphrasing, and writing in direct speeches. And here are my three tips for you to remember when you are writing your review of related literature. Step 1. Organize your note cards or ideas on how you would want them to appear in this chapter. Step 2. Begin writing the, the chapter while including the surnames of authors who provided sources of your study and the publication date of their work in parentheses. And lastly, edit, proofread, and rewrite. Second to the last topic of our agenda in this video is chapter 3, Method and Procedures. The kind of research used by your study is what we call the method of research. This answers why the method used is appropriate for the study. And the subject of the study describes your respondents. Who are they? What are their profile? Where they came from? And etc. Still part of your chapter 3 is the description of research instrument. You need to describe your instrument, which is the questioner. Another is the data gathering procedures. Narrates, introduce, and discuss the process undergone by the study that eventually leads to the findings. And don't forget, part of your chapter 3 still is the statistical treatment applied. The statistical treatment that you will use, which includes your sampling method and formulas to come up with findings out of the data 
gathered. Lastly, we are now down to the last part of our refresher or review. That's the chapter 4, Presentation, Analysis, and Interpretation of Data. This is where you have the results of the study. Presents all the data gathered using the questionnaire by tabulating all the gathered information. Aside from the tables, an interpretation of each presented data should follow. This will serve as basis of your summary of findings.